Okay, pick up the pieces. So the uh, first chord we have is this chord right here. This is a, uh, basically we're doing like a C7 sharp nine kind of chord. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go the uh, 10th fret right there on the D, the ninth fret on your G, and the 11th fret on your B and your high E. There's two guitar parts in this, and one guitar is just doing the, uh, just kind of down ups like that. And the other one is, And the, so it's the same chord. So just kind of think about that rhythm. That rhythm for the uh, the other guitar part. Kind of like that. So those two parts combined, that kind of gets you the intro. Okay, the next part we have this little lead part, and we're gonna start on the low E to on the on the eighth fret. That's your C, and we're gonna go on the C, and we're gonna go right there, and then we're gonna go to the A string. We're gonna go six, seven, eight in chromatic, and then we're gonna jump to the D string, and we're gonna go five to six, and then to eight, and then right back to the six, and then to the eight of the A. Now the second time, it really does the same thing. It's just gonna take away the last note. So the second time, and then you stop right there. So together we have this. So behind that riff, we have the uh, other guitar part playing the chords. And the first chord you're gonna have is an F minor seven chord. And we're gonna play that F minor seven chord like this. So we're gonna bar it right there on the, uh, the uh, rooted on the A string. So we got our bar on the eighth fret. And we're gonna have our ring finger on the 10th fret of the D and our middle finger on the ninth fret of the B. And then we're gonna actually add our pinky here to the 11th fret of your high E. And that's just, that's just adding that seven on top again. A little bit funkier. And now for the rhythm, what we're gonna do is we've got a lot of scratches. And remember when we're doing this funk stuff that really our right hand is just gonna constantly kind of go. And it's when we decide to kind of squeeze the chord right there, right? So that's really what we're, that's really what we're after. Our rhythm is gonna be like this. Let's slow that down first off so we can just see it really slow. Okay, so what we basically have is these little groupings of strums. So the first, we're gonna do four strums in a row, so down, up, down, up. So once we play those four, okay? So we have four, we have down, up, down, up. Then we're gonna have two scratches. Okay, after the two scratches, we're gonna have two more rhythms, so we're gonna go down, up again. All right. Now, after that, we're gonna have one scratch. Okay, now we stopped on the down for the scratch, so our next up is gonna be a chord. We're gonna squeeze that chord, so. We stopped on the up for our last chord, and we're gonna scratch down and up. Okay, so we have this. Now after those last two scratches, we're gonna go uh, down up with and squeeze in our chord one last time. So we'll have all of this together. Now you'll have a couple scratches right after the last chord squeeze, but remember that hand should just keep going. And it's really important for you to feel beat one so you can always know where you are. So here's what it should sound like at speed.
Now, this rhythm is really, really important because we're going to be playing it over other chords down the line. So the next chord you have is a B flat nine chord. And we're going to play that here. And we're going to do the exact same rhythm. And that chord is going to be on 13 on your A, 12 on your D, and then 13 on your G and your B. Okay? And we're going to do the exact same rhythm. Okay, and then we come right back down to the F minor seven. That, that kind of goes back and forth a few different times, and then you're gonna have this uh, chord right here. And we're gonna go to play all 13s. So we're just gonna play 13 A, D, G, B, and E, and we're just gonna play eighth notes constantly. So we're gonna let these ring. Okay, so you're gonna keep doing that until we go back to that C7 sharp nine chord, and that's gonna be the same one we did in the intro. Okay, and we're gonna hit that, and then we're right back into our F minor seven chord. And after we hit that C7 sharp nine chord, we go right back to the same. No. That we've had through all the other parts of the song. And really the whole song kind of just goes back and forth through these different parts. So just kind of listen out, but that's really it. So those are really the main chords and the main rhythms you have for pick up the pieces. If you have any questions, just let me know.